Hey guys, my name is Graffiti in my heart, and today I have a really awesome game for you guys. It's called Until Dawn. Now, if you haven't heard about it already, it is sweeping the gaming nation right now. Um, it is a horror game that just came out of nowhere, and it is amazing, apparently. Uh, people have been telling me that it's so good, and then I have to play it, oh my gosh. So, um, the premise of it is, is it is about um, eight uh, campers, eight, eight people basically, go out into the woods, and they they have a pretty good time. By pretty good time, I mean awful. I mean bad things happen. Um, it is like a, a horror movie. It's like a horror game. So I am really really excited for this to get going. Um, apparently, it is a lot like Heavy Rain, where you make a lot of choices. So you basically choose who lives or dies. So hopefully, we can make everyone live. Let's make all those good choices. I'm gonna answer as honestly as I can. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy the the ride we're about to go on together. So here is Until Dawn, Part One. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they starting out? Yes, as I said before, your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Super, super, super spooky. I'm, I'm so excited to play this game, you guys. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Ooh, I love. Choosy games. That's why I love Telltale. That's why I love love Heavy Rain and stuff like that. So this is gonna be good. Ooh, a cabin in the woods. Haven't heard of that premise before. Hmm. Super spooks. Girl, what you doing looking out that window? There's there's more interesting things inside. I'm I'm assuring. Unless you see a machete man, then then you definitely stay stay inside. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl Ann. Uh, Jen? Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. So normal teenage no. drama. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. So right off the bat, I can already tell this game is used using actors and such. Um, Hannah! Like, uh, that, that girl looks like <laughs> the, um, the actress from Heroes, the main one. Her name's Hayden something. She does also the, the clear skin commercials. <laughs> Oh, girl, you're gonna... What you gonna do? Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, my gosh. It's, uh, freaking... It's Ward from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. If anyone watches that show... Yeah, it's that Deutsch bag. So I already don't like him. I feel bad and biased. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Hello? Josh. Josh. Okay, so we get to move around. I got a nice comfy sweater. Ooh, do a turn, girl. Do a turn. Sashay away. Sashay away. Alright, let's do some exploring. We got a bright light. What is this? Press and hold R2 to pick up the note. You're just gonna just gonna hold it down like that? Hold R2. Oh, okay, cool. Well that's that's like uh Ellie Noir where you pick up an object and the clue and that's how you would move it around. Hannah! You look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest thumb at 2 a.m. Smile, winky face, Mike, X, X, X. Oh, oh baby. God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Oh, my God, this uh, is a prank. This freaking sucks. Time. Why are you guys so rude? Who's this? Mr. Passed Out Drunk? Both of you? Oh, my God. Hmm, so we can use the right stick to look around. Objects that glint can be inspected. Ah, oh, the poison of tonight is... -da 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 Jeremiah Craig! Who invited this guy to the party? Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got your note. Glad you can make it. 
Look at these graphics. Oh, they're beautiful. Mwah. Mwah. Beautiful graphics. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. Oh, my God. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh, my God. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. Oh. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of just a stupid prank. Oh. Uh, you guys <laughs> are jerks. Mike's like, that? damn. Could have seen some of them sweet things. Ah, oh, what assholes, though? What kind of friends are you? Use the right stick to choose. What are we choosing? Uh, wake Josh, find others. Josh! Josh! Get the fuck up! Josh! 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 Fuck! <laughs> Guys, there's someone outside. Yeah, oh, it's my sister. What the hell? What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Ass hats. Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. All right. Uh, press the correct action oh, button shit. before the timer runs out. Okay, so it's, um... It's the, the action replay buttons and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Uh, safe fast. Well, I'm gonna go fast. I wanna find my sister. I want my little sis. Ooh, super spooky. Uh, noise of footprints. Uh, noise. Those footprints could have been anybody's. That noise could have been anyone's noise too, either though. I realize I've made poor choices. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Oh, well, I just saw her running, so. Oh, wait, there's a shadow over there. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna go with footprints this time, because I feel bad about not picking footprints last time. I'm pretty sure I saw her. Run, girl! Touchpad. Oh, hey! We actually get to use this thing! Why, thank you. Girl, it's not the time to be looking up for. I don't know what you're talking about. Texting your friends, taking a selfie, Snapchat. There's no time! Hannah! We're looking for Hannah! It's like Toy Story. Hannah! Oh, Hannah! You don't scare me, birds. You don't scare me none. Kiana banana. Ooh, okay. Yeah, all right. Now it's hey, that was a little spooky, but okay. Um, just walk faster. Power walk. Well, we're gonna power walk through this thing. Hello. A uh, shoe. Hello. Yo. Shoe. Said. That's not a shoe. What is this? Do I what is that? What? A death totem? What the heck is that? Uh, black death. Possible death of the person who finds it. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, events of the past will come clear. Well, that's weird. Well, I definitely don't want to die. So let's just not choose that path, and let's not open up the menu by accident. So let's just uh, play it safe, because apparently I could die. And I'd really rather not do that. Not today. Stars. Hannah! Ah, <laughs> what the hell? Fire? Like a, uh, what is that, a freaking dragon? Fire breathing dragon over there? What's going on? Hannah. Hannah. Oh, thank God. Okay, Hello? we found her. Everything's gonna be good. There Hannah. we go. 
Oh my god, he must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. You're fine, you're fine. And by the way, there's a dragon. I don't know if you know. Oh no, Hannah, Nan, of course you trip. Come on, get up, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And there goes the phone, of course. Now you guys can't call for help. Dragon, that's a guy. He's trying to help. I'm gonna drop my sister. I'm not gonna drop my sister. No, screw you. I don't want. I don't want your help. I can do this myself. Oh, oh man. Oh, frick! I died. I messed up. I messed up. Do I get to go back? Get to change that? No. Oh man, I have to live with my choice. Oh shit. So I died. But like, I I know it sounds bad, but like, I would never drop my sister. Like, no matter what. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, oh. no one can change what happened last year. That guy, it's, uh, the actor, Peter. Control. You have to Storm accept this something. in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single Fourth choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Okay. Oh, personal space, buddy. What'd you eat for frickin' breakfast? Garlic with so, garlic cloves? You have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. It, always, it seems like something's like stuck in his mouth. He's like, oh. all right. <laughs> we will start with a simple exercise. All right. Could you please pick up cards? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, okay. it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Who's gonna look at me with a pouty face? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Um, I'm a um, love man. Okay. What is it? What is it? Ooh. Huh. Ah. So it's a barn with a creepy ass scarecrow. And crops. Okay. So That's fine. That's fine. How did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Um, well, it sure doesn't make me happy. I can say that for sure. It makes me feel uneasy. Okay. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Uh, duh. I don't know if you've seen this picture before, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a freaking scarecrow. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable okay. staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. I wouldn't mind vacationing there with my family. It's a nice little cottage. It's a nice little barn, stuff like that. But, uh, no. Not on my own. If I had friends, yeah. But by myself, I wouldn't do it. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Why not? I'll be, I'll be lonely. I won't be scared. I'll be lonely. There's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Isolation? Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. Hmm? All of these faces. Because I'm persons, afraid we're out of time. Animation. <laughs> we're out of time? For now. For now? Until the next session. 
And uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel safe. Okay. I'll get right on that, sir. This reminds me a lot of anyone play Silent Hill Shattered Memories? It's where uh, in between the, the game stuff like that you would go and talk to a therapist and your decisions with the therapist would affect the game and I really like that. That music. It's beautiful. I love it. Wow, I'm so excited. What a beginning. What an intro. We're absolutely playing more of this. Yep, it's yeah, it's Hadron. Hayden. Hayden. Penitentiary. I, I don't know what to say. One year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, oh, the Washington twins. girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us. More, More than you know, Marty. More than you know. Our son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. <laughs> Super awkward. It's like me whenever I try to do an intro. Friends All right. and fans. Ah. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! Yay! So, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but mm -hmm. I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Aww. Okay, so let's party <laughs> like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip Woo! we will never forget, all right? Yes! That's crazy, man. It's sad because, like, it seems like he just wants to party to forget all the bad stuff that's happened.
Blackwood Pine. So this is this is where we're going. So we're going back to the lodge, which is just like the last place we probably want to be. Memento Mori, ten hours until dawn. Aha! I get I get it. I get the title name. Very clever. Oh no, no machete man. No thank you. Ooh, gotta be a little bit like a scan one with all the clicking in the photographs. Uh, Sam, Hannah's best friend. X, cause she, she's dead. <laughs> Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Hello? Someone there? Woo. Oh, listen to that voice. Mm. That's some nice heavy breathing you got there. I think you've been practicing that for a while. Okay. No birds, you don't scare me. So this is nice. Okay. What this, what this, what this? What? The gate's busted. Climb over, Chris. Oh. Change of service from Chris to Josh Washington Directions. Yo, how do I get there again? Oh, these are, these are the back of uh, Directions. That's really funny. Okay. This is glinting. Um, quick. I'm very impatient. I think quick has uh, faster reaction times from what I've just seen. Uh, jump. Well, we like to live life dangerously. I'm sure safe has more reaction buttons to pick, but you have more time to do it. So it's like you want to choose easy or hard mode. Why can't I go hard? So, like, does everyone have to climb over that fence? Well, this isn't creepy at all. Let's uh, walk Aww. fast. <gasps> Ooh, Hello, fella. Why are they so cute? Oh my gosh. Huh? When don't move icon is on the screen. Keep the wireless controller as <laughs> still as possible. Aw. That's super cute. Okay. If you aren't sure what to do next, you can see your current objective pressing R1. So let's do that. Ooh. Ooh, I get to control this girl? Don't you roll your eyes at me. Don't you roll your eyes at me. Don't you have an epileptic seizure on me? Okay, Sam, character traits. She's honest, charitable, she's not funny, she's brave, she's not romantic, and she's not that much curious either. So, and she's pretty much uh, neutral with everyone. She doesn't really like Jess and Mike, though. That's cool. We get a, we get a whole like personality Sims synopsis of someone. Birds, you tell me once, I tell you twice. You know, you don't you don't scare me. You don't scare me, none birds. Okay. What's this? <laughs> cool. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Okay, so that's what we saw back there with Beth. So she saw her death. Haha. <laughs> Beth's death. I'm not funny. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Uh, guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Okay. As you discover, as you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking up a totem will, by, and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and premonition of a possible future. Okay, what we got? Death and destruction? Good? Good? Not good fortune. Let's uh, that's guidance. Let me see that one more time. What's that? Okay, I didn't know what this is. 
Okay, alright, I don't know what that was. But I'm good. <laughs> okay. So we got a bird flying. That's our that's our guidance. Bird flying on table. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Press R1 any time to view your totem collection. Well, I believe we did that. Chris, okay. you here? The bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? <laughs> and they say you're not funny. Well, your phone's ringing. You should definitely answer it. Well, it's not. It's not snooping. I don't like that they call it snoop. I'm not gonna Maybe snoop. If someone's phone's ringing, you should probably answer it or tell them that they missed a call. Sam, hey, you made it. Look at that guy, Chris, has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous. Yeah, how funny are you, funny guy? Oh, so. I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Yep. I love him already. He's speaking my lingo. Going to blow your mind. Ooh, what's this? Wanted. Wilgram Victor. Oh, man. Look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Ooh, like okay. Someone thought so. Uh, oh, this place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Last known address: Blackwood Pines. Last seen a long ass time ago. Wanted a connection with first degree arson offense as well as various death threats. Arson? That's um, that's fire, isn't it? Maybe that's our dragon. Collect clues to solve the mysteries of until dawn, and it increases your chance for survival. Ta-da! What is Red, it? Right? Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What is it? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the ah. base of Lodge? Ah, uh, dude, the shooting have you range. Ever met Josh's dad? This is tutorial land. I don't know if this you know that. Like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> all right, here goes. Okay, all right. So we're doing, uh, we're doing basically point and shooting. You know what really blows is that, um, this game doesn't have inverted aim. I play inverted. I don't play normal, so it's, it's harder for me to, to aim. Ah. It was because, uh, my dad was a pilot, so when you fly a plane up is down and down is up. So that's just how he aims, and that's just how he taught me. It's okay, I'm adjusting. It's wow, just, it's not like nice quick 360 no right. scoping. I'm bad. I'm a badass. Yeah. I'm yeah. I love that dance. Not, I don't think so, girl. Uh, there we go. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. God, you do it then if you're so smart. What? No. No, I'm not gonna. Shoot a squirrel? Who would do that? This is terrible! No! God! Who would do that? Who would shoot the squirrel? Nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Evil people Come on, would do Chris, that. the cable car. Sorry, guys. Okay. So let's go to the cable car then. Man, it is. That's a pole. weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? Mm -hmm. What people? I don't know. You said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. That's weird. What's in here? After you. Oh, real gentleman. 
Oh, nice snowboards. Alright, so we're at this station. What are you looking at, girl? Nothing. Oh! Damn. And I thought the car was closer. What a beautiful Guess view. I'm Gosh. trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this going to take? It's a big mountain. Who is this? Blackwood Pines Hotel and Sanatorium for a healthy body and mind. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. I only bought a mountain. What else? Anything else? No. What was this? Looks like a bathtub. Hot tub. Okay. That's uh, that's where we came from. The Southside Lodge. Interesting. Okay. Finally. You coming? Right on time. Yeah, well, I was going to stay here and catch some Z's, but... Okay. <laughs> You've convinced me. I'll go with you, I guess. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, yeah. This was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> just a bro. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, cool story. We became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact <laughs> And Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Hmm. Boom. Butterfly effect. Ooh, so they're explaining butterfly effect. It was really cool as um if anyone ever watches Scrubs, which is my favorite TV show, they had an episode explaining the butterfly effect as it um it was like a butterfly it like landed on a different person. Like it landed on one person and a sequence of events happens. But if a butterfly landed on a different person, you know, just like the tiniest little change, it like twists and changed the whole story. So it's really interesting how one tiny event can just change a whole sequence of events down the line. Uh, Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, reverent. Looks like a psycho. She looks like uh, the overly attached girlfriend. Yeah, that's great. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. New people. Okay. Who are these people? <gasps> oh, Jesus. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty no. please? Nah, you did say pretty please, but I don't know. I'm not really feeling that uh, that please that you're giving me there. Why well, you need to tell me I'm pretty? Tell me I'm pretty, Jess. Jess, come on, just let us out. Tell me I'm pretty! Okay, you're pretty, Jess. Was that so hard? That wasn't so hard. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten <laughs> minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! Ooh, what is My that? My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. What? And Aren't you what dating kind of him? Sizzling Here's erotica your might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Okay, insist, give that back or explain I'm with Mike now. Well, 
I mean, there's no reason to get all uppity. Let's just explain it. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. I'm getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, nature you and junk? Go ahead. You're surrounded I'm by just nature. Wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. <laughs> Sam? Sure, you are. <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Gosh, it's beautiful. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike Sex, intelligent, resourceful, persuasive, Lucy Lou. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, motivated, ambitious, active. I'm sensing all this uh, this teen drama here. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Okay, so we are now Matt. And apparently, I am the bellboy. Hey, baby, you want to take one of these bags? Getting chilled. Take, We're almost there. Take one of these bags? Oh, I'm getting kind of creeped out. No? Oh, uh, yeah. It's going to be weird seeing everyone up here again. Mm. Definitely not going to feel like a regular party. No. I mean, what do you think? Ah! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, my gosh. Mike, Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. Ooh, how persuasive are you? <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> Ooh, that's scary. Michael, you jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all <laughs> friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Welcome to Blue. It was. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten Come the mood, on. Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Okay, we can threaten back off Mike, or we can look him. We're all friends here. I mean, we're all friends here. Honestly, I think Mike's having a good time. Yeah, yeah. We're all friends. We're good. We're Mike, chill. I'm just going to lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's going to suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now. And move on, okay? Nah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. <laughs> so we're good? All good. You yeah. guys gonna make out now? <laughs> oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, no, seriously. I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on oh, the trail. Wow. Right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. What the hell? <laughs> I feel like he could be a douchebag, but I really like Mike. He just became so animated. Like, what? wow, that was out of nowhere. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way the bags yeah i mean wasn't bags. i doing um, it already why i need to go find sam okay what? sorry i just i really need to go find her i totally forgot i needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there this really can't wait we're almost there it's important matt please um agree i'll go Persist in not leaving you alone. Well, no, it's it's cold, dark, scary, and you have to freaking help me carry these bags, okay, lady? Gosh. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out, and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just oh leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. No. Why can't oh. you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? Oh my I'm, god, woman! I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Uh, oh my god. Okay. This girl. Fine. Oh man. You You're killing Thank me. You. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Gosh, that was a bit crazy. I think Sam is even ahead of you guys. I don't know. I don't know where everyone is. Ooh, Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, forthright. What 
we got? What we got? A whole lot of nothing. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Oh, man! Not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh, no, no, no! Ah, so that lying little... Mmm! She lied to me! Oh! <laughs> Hey, stop what? it! Oh, just sorry. stop! God! Yeah, I didn't mean to let me just you. let me play. Well, let me just play this game. You, sort of scary, but not like for real. Scary. Oh my you. gosh! Oh my god! Hey, well, <laughs> man, I'm I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Oh what are you man. At? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, uh. Let me check it out. Uh, nope. We didn't see anything at all. Uh, it's busted or ta yeah, take a freaking look. Um, it's busted. You can't really look at it. Yep, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just what? For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Uh, ooh, this is a tough decision. Help yourself or no? Well, honestly, honestly, to protect Matt, I would show him. I would show him what's going on because Emily lied. It didn't take the freaking bags, okay? So you know what? Help yourself. Help yourself. Um, See what the little sure. little bag not taker did. I don't know. I just uh, think that you should help. Son of a bitch. Oh man. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... Damn it. Matt. Yo, I'm, I'm I'm sorry, Matt. I just I feel like this would be best for you in the long run. Who am I to play God? Ugh. Jessica, Upper Cable Car Station. So I guess you're waiting around for a guy that's uh, hugging his ex-girlfriend. Although they weren't doing anything incriminating, you know, like they they weren't kissing or anything like that. It really could have been friendly. I don't. I really try not to judge. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Uh, grab Snowball. Yeah, I'm gonna pelt you with that thing. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were going down. Oh! <laughs> Boom. Great. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you mm. hiding, little chicken? Oh, oh ah, cute. Ah, nice music. Hey. Oh, snap. <laughs> no, so it's a bird. Hello. Come on. <laughs> hey, Mike. Make it hard for me. Come on, you're not even trying. Oh, you got me. Fair okay. God, man, I am just owning this guy. Hey, it's the uh, the guidance totem. Something sometimes not doing is the right thing to do. Okay, so sometimes doing nothing is the best. And I know it's best because the, the, that totem told me to not hit the bird, basically. Oh, ah. right. Right. Yes. And then what? Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Done. Done city. So, did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Whoa, kids, come right. on. Right. Give PG. My, my. So, are we calling it my favor then? You're a worthy opponent. Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. No, it doesn't. Oh, kiss him, grab Snowball. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. He's kind of charming. I'm gonna do the kiss. I'm just gonna kiss him. Oh, oh, baby, what is going on here? Wow, save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. Oh. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, oh, I God. could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? 
quote unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Wow! Yeah. Talk about uh, Randy teenagers. What's going on? Could we just not do any of that? Oh gosh. Ooh. So what's in that cable car? What's that? Ooh. I'm back here with the therapist. Hello again. What's up, man? And how are we feeling? It's a little dark in here, don't you think? Thank you. I, I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Okay. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. So we're gonna pick. Men worry me or women worry me. Well, that woman's pretty scary in that picture. I don't know. It sucks, me personally. Like, I'm gonna go with men, I, I guess. I'm sorry. I don't I don't know. Uh, ooh, get to do this thing again. Um, planes scare me or crowds scare me? Planes can kill people. Crowds only kill people if they're a zombie or an angry mob. Let's go. Heights or drowning? Definitely heights. I'm, I'm scared of heights. I can swim really well. I'm a good swimmer. So. Ooh, rats or snakes? Well, snakes, obviously. Rats are... My friends have pet rats. They're, they're cute, man. Snakes are scary. Okay. Turn stuff down. Guns are scary or knives are scary? Well, knives aren't really scary because, you know, you use them in a kitchen. Cook with them. Guns. They can kill more effectively? I guess. Snakes scare me, or I fear cockroaches. I don't fear cockroaches. I, I'm the one that goes and kills the cockroaches for for you when they're there. Yeah, snakes are snakes are some scary ass. Ooh, okay, all right. So clowns don't normally freak me out, but that picture is really freaky. But scarecrows, on the other hand, are super spooky. Um, as in a uh, in Batman Arkham Knight or Arkham Asylum, any of the Arkham games, freaking scarecrows. Oh, really? They just, they, they get me. That's probably my least favorite villain. Crows aren't scary. Gore's kind of gross. Because uh, I'm a visual... I'm a, Jesus! Did I start you? I'm oh, sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> Try to Whew. speed up. The more you oh, sorry. On your instincts, the more honest your answers. I was trying to explain my answers. To find this experience. Okay, I'm a visual imagination person, so if someone like says they get a paper cut, I imagine I get a paper cut too, and I can almost feel it. As far as a creepy snake scare me, um, uh, snakes still scare me more. Spiders are really creepy though. Uh, needles or gore? Gore because I, uh, as much as I don't like needles, um. I give, I try to give blood even though I don't like it because I just, you know, it's a good thing to do. Uh, zombies don't really scare me anymore. Scarecrows do more because, um, I'm, we're desensitized to zombies in this day and age. Uh, dogs or gore? I have a dog. I'm not afraid of dogs. Gore. Gore or storms? Storms don't, storms don't really do anything. They're not going to hurt you pretty much. Gore again. I feel bad that I chose gore so many times. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> yeah, but I gotta please put that tongue back. Snakes, scarecrows, and awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. Narrow? <laughs> sounds terrible. Uh, well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I <laughs> promise we'll talk again very soon. Is this all in your face kind of thing? Interesting. Okay. Well, just like he said, I'm afraid we are actually all out of time. 
for that. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching, guys. This was Until Dawn Part 1. I have been Graffiti to my heart, in case you forgot already. Um, I just want to say um, like that video if you liked what you saw. And comment below if you have done anything different, your choices, anything like that. I really would like to know um, if I messed up anywhere. So please let me know. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next part of Until Dawn Part 2. Okay, guys? So thank you. Have a great day. Okay? Bye! Mr. Egghead, that's not okay. You can't just come knocking at my door like that. You're not allowed to know. Are you gone? Good. No! I don't want any of your Girl Scout cookies. He's not even a Girl Scout. You're not even licensed to sell them at this place. Get the frick!